It's gonna go A. Yeah. No, those are all decoys. Not One cat. One cat. Two cat, two cat. One pit. Oh my god. It's A. This long pit. Jeez, my car. One's pit, two on site. Guy in pit has an op. I hit him. Purple's going all the way around, apparently. Planting. Bomb has been planted. <laughs> One more on site, he's... Okay, nice shot, nice. Tom. Nice ace. Was that, was that an ace? Uh, no, you got four. Was it? Are you sure? I think so. The ace? He toggled off. Was that an ace? Yeah, it was. It was? No. I think so. I swear I killed, like, those only people. Oh, wait, no, I got two with the fucking PP. you're right. My bad. Hello everybody, my name is Freaky, and uh, welcome to a uh, uh, CSGO Top 10 Things That Make You Tilt. Yes, this is going to be my top 10 things that make me tilt. You guys feel free to say what makes you tilt about CSGO in the uh, comment section. I, I, I just want to hear what you guys have to say, because some of these might line up with you. Some of these might be just a me thing. Um, I don't tilt very often. Um, it's just been more recently that I've been getting into lobbies where a lot of this has been taking place and it bothers me a lot to the point where I want to make this video today and that's the reason why you haven't seen too many videos because I've been tilting out of my fucking goddamn mind and hope you guys did enjoy the ace in the beginning of this video. Uh, but anyways, let's get right into it. This is in no specific order, but we're just going to shoot for the sky right now and hit some of these on the head. Number one, players who don't talk or give out call-outs. You know those type of players that are just basically quiet the entire time? You jump right into it, you try to chat with your teammates, and you're like, Hey, how you guys doing today? And then they just don't say anything back. They don't even type in the chat. These are the people I'm talking about that uh, don't even type in the chat. They just don't even want to associate themselves with everybody. It's like they turn out the world. It's like they go in there, they turn off push to talk, they can't even hear their teammates talking or giving out call outs, so they just don't talk or type anything in the chat. And this bothers me to the point because there's so many things that you need to give call outs for on CSGO competitive that it gets to a point where if you don't give a strategic call out, it could ruin a round or even the game. Number two, playing with low-level players and getting into hacked lobbies. I've been doing this a lot late, uh, lately. I've been trying to uh, rank up my buddy Boz. I've been trying to get him uh, a decent rank, trying to rank him up, trying to help him out. But it seems like every single time that I play with him, I don't know if this is just a silver thing or a low goal, uh, goal Nova rank, but I've been deranking because of these matches that I've been playing with. If I play an MG2, MG rank, goal Nova 4, I never have this problem. Sure, he doesn't have the, the uh, whatever that's called that you, I can't even remember at the top of my head right now, but the thing that you need to not get in hack lobbies, that one little uh, thing behind your name, yeah, I don't have that, uh, as a thing that can go around this, he doesn't have it, so I can't play in matches that are prime. That's that's the word I was looking for, prime matches. He doesn't have that, so I have to play against these players. And there's a ton of players that are, are completely obvious. You guys know, you guys have seen them. I know there's spin modders on MG and MG2s and higher up. Uh, that's not even the problem here. But it's the players that act like they're playing good, and they act like they're smurfing, but they're actually just aim-locking and walling. These are the players that I hate playing with, and they derank me. So I've kind of just given up feeling about my rank now. Uh, number three, frag happy players. Now, it's not bad. It's it's not bad to uh, to be happy about getting frags. Especially if you're helping out the team, you're taking on sites. Uh, let's say you're a terrorist and you're you're taking hold of the site and you're getting some frags. You're getting the bomb planter, right? Totally fine if you're taking out the enemies. I'm I'm down with that. But if you're one of those frag happy players that are staying alive but not clutching rounds or holding sites and say, "Oh, I'm flanking," when in no scenario you should be flanking because the rest of the team is dead. I hate you. I I just I don't like you. 
Number four, players who yell for help on a site when everybody is across map. And these are the type of players that are like, yeah, I can hold B site by myself. Don't worry about it. I got it. And then everyone else is stacking A site or we got one mid or whatever it is. And then they rush B, but this dude can't even... Stay alive because for some reason he's peeking. When you're on a site by yourself, you either get those headshots or you hide and wait for the team to rotate over because at least you can stay alive to kind of jumble up what's going on on that site. And these are the players that I hate a lot as well. Number five, players that say take it slow with 20 seconds to plant or defuse. I really don't like this. It, this seems to happen way more on uh, Silver slash Gold Nova because they don't really know. They just say take it slow because they want people to act like uh, they know something about the game. And sure, take it slow is a great is a great thing to say when you have a minute left to either plant the bomb or uh, uh, defuse the bomb. Sure, sure, okay, totally fine. But if you say take it slow to a teammate that that literally can't even kill a goddamn enemy um, when there's 20 seconds left to defuse the bomb, for example... It's, it's not going to help him at all. He either needs to save or uh, rush the site and try to kill the person that's left. Simple as that. Number six, players that don't know how to have fun while playing and take it super seriously. Sure, this is CSGO, where you want to win the match. But this isn't CSGO pro strat team alpha something. Bravo, okay? It's not that. I want to play the game. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy it. Sure, I'll take it seriously from time and time again, but I won't yell at a teammate for fucking up unless he's literally doing some of these things that I've been saying in this video right here. So, please, just have fun while you're playing the game. You don't need to take it so seriously. You're not on a pro team. Number seven, silvers who give out stretch or tell you, play here. Hey, have you ever met one of those players that are like, hey, play here, play Elevator on A-Site, play uh, 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 Top Goose on A-Site? Have you ever ran into one of these players and you know this is not a good area to sit so you just totally ignore them? Thank you. Thank you for ignoring them because they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. They are the first person to go down and not get a freaking frag. Fuck you. Number eight. Players who yell at the top of their lungs when you don't clutch a 1v5 situation. I hate these players a lot, and like I said, this usually happens on a lower ranking system, but it all depends on who you're playing with, and uh, if you're going into solo queues, you might run into some of these people or a lot of these people, and this goes in the same category of taking the game too seriously. When your teammates can't get a frag, you shouldn't be yelling at your last surviving teammate if he can't clutch a 1v5. If you guys can't contribute and get some bullets and, and help people downfield and get some people weak, don't yell at somebody at the top of your lungs when they don't clutch a 1v5. Number nine, players who spin bot at halftime uh, to tie the game. This, this, this bothers me. This happened a lot when I was uh, MG, okay? And uh, now I'm sadly Gold Nova 1 because uh, I ran into a lot of hackers with, uh, you know, playing with my friend that's silver now. So... Yeah, um, this usually happened once in a while. Uh, since I haven't been playing too much MG, obviously, uh, it hasn't been happening. I've been just going with the aim lockers and walls, um, which is not too hard to defeat. But when a whole team is running it, it's very difficult. Um, but when a spin modder happens, there's only a couple things you can do. You can either nade the shit out of him or op him. And if you don't have a good eco, or your teams are just buying like crazy and no one's saving for an op, or no one can even use the op, aimbot will basically either win you in the match or will tie you the match. And that's frustrating as shit. My number 10 reason, and like I said, this is no specific order, but players who only buy the deagle but can't even hit a wand deag. This bothers me because you can't even use the gun. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to, you're trying to challenge yourself. You're trying to say you're uh, smurfing. You're trying to say you're, you're one of the top ranking players on your oh, silver man, elite master account okay you're not just just play the game uh, this goes back to me you know saying hey uh, have fun yeah that's not having fun unless you're up by at least 10 rounds then you can say you're only using the deal or, or if you're just getting one dig aces around the map then i'm totally fine with it but then again you might have aim lock so i i i i'm not sure i'm not sure at all but this has been my top 10 reasons that make me tilt on CSGO. Let me know in the comment section if this aligns with any of you guys. 
that play CSGO, or let me know anything else that tilts you on CSGO down in the comment section. Hope you guys did enjoy. I've been Freaky, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.